This video provides additional evidence for blocking mechanism of microwave transmission as shown previously. As usual, the transmitter and receiver are set up to get full scale reading. The transmission will be blocked using this aluminum sheet. Its width is 70 mm, which is corresponding to 2 and a half wavelength. Its thickness is 100 micron. When the aluminum sheet is placed in front of the receiver horizontally, the reading drops to zero. It's still zero when the sheet is oriented vertically. Same things happen when the sheet is placed in front of the transmitter. Now the width of the sheet is reduced to 63 mm, which is corresponding to 2 and a quarter wavelength. The aluminum sheet still blocks the microwave transmission as well as previous time. Now the width of the sheet is reduced to 56 mm, which is corresponding to two wavelength. The receiver shows a very weak signal in each test, except when the sheet is placed vertically in front of the transmitter, which still shows zero. Now the width of the sheet is reduced to 49 mm, which is corresponding to one and three quarter wavelength. The receiver shows a weak signal in each test, except when the sheet is placed vertically in front of the transmitter, which still shows zero. Now the width of the sheet is reduced to 42 mm, which is corresponding to one and a half wavelength. When the aluminum sheet is placed in front of the receiver horizontally, the reading shows 15%. It comes down to 10% when the sheet is oriented vertically. When the sheet is placed in front of the transmitter, the reading shows 5% for horizontal as well as vertical orientation. Now the width of the sheet is reduced to 35 mm, which is corresponding to one and a quarter wavelength. When the aluminum sheet is placed in front of the receiver horizontally, the reading shows 35%. It comes down to 10% when the sheet is oriented vertically. When the sheet is placed in front of the transmitter, the reading shows 27% for horizontal and down to 5% for vertical orientation. Now the width of the sheet is reduced to 28 mm, which is corresponding to one wavelength. When the aluminum sheet is placed in front of the receiver horizontally, the reading shows 50%. It comes down to 10% when the sheet is oriented vertically. When the sheet is placed in front of the transmitter, the reading shows 37% for horizontal and down to 5% for vertical orientation. Now the width of the sheet is reduced to 21 mm, which is corresponding to 3 quarter wavelength. When the aluminum sheet is placed in front of the receiver horizontally, the reading shows 58%. It comes down to 37% when the sheet is oriented vertically. When the sheet is placed in front of the transmitter, the reading shows 40% for horizontal and down to 25% for vertical orientation. Now the width of the sheet is reduced to 14 mm, which is corresponding to a half wavelength. When the aluminum sheet is placed in front of the receiver horizontally, the reading shows 68%. It comes down to 60% when the sheet is oriented vertically. When the sheet is placed in front of the transmitter, the reading shows 50% for horizontal and down to 42% for vertical orientation. Now the width of the sheet is reduced to 7 mm, which is corresponding to a quarter wavelength. When the aluminum sheet is placed in front of the receiver horizontally, the reading shows 97%. It comes down to 72% when the sheet is oriented vertically. When the sheet is placed in front of the transmitter, the reading shows 92% for horizontal and down to 47% for vertical orientation. Let's summarize our results so far in a table and a graphic.
The slope of the curve can emphasize the periodic nature of the trend.